Good afternoon, Engineer. Today you'll be running a passenger service between Woodbridge and Long Branch. Timetable is tight and intermittent storms mean the conditions aren't great, so you'll need to be alert. <laughs> oh well, there we go. There you go. I wasn't I was gonna get another medal, but Rubku, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the host. Right, 75 limit. Next station is Perth Amboy, 3.3 miles. Hey, welcome, Victor. Wipers going so fast, it's, it's making me all ah! <laughs> it's like, calm down, wipers. Right, Perth Amboy, two and a half miles. David, you're getting some food before I get in down busters mode. <laughs> Cab light on. No, I turned it off. That's on. That's off. Moggy, you've just shared the link for the results. Was that intentional? Hey, Z Man. Train Unlimited, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Yeah, I'm sure it was deliberate, Moggy. I'm sure it was deliberate. <laughs> Can we have a look at this train? Yes, ride car, as soon as I get uh, into the station. I've got flights in on the brain now, I was saying I was just on final.
came in way too slow. Have I done AM7's fatal shutout? No, because they're on Northeast Corridor, which isn't available at the moment. That stop was bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> Better than most of my stops, to be perfectly fair. Okay, what's going on? Well, that added some unnecessary delay to my timing. Couldn't get the thing to go. You're going from 15 to 60, Metro Ralph. And when you look back, it was going 73. You'd lost 2,500 points. No! Wayne, Wayne, the, the Wayne has stopped, so I shall stop the wipers. Got 35 limit coming up. But let's take advantage of some speedies first. Do I have sand on? No. Don't need sand on. It's a wobbly American bridge, apparently, according to Bait Bean Kid. You see the bridge from the outside. South Amboy. That's five points lost. We'll speed back up to the 30.
Right, coming in South Amboy. What's next? Aberdeen, Matuan, Hazlitt, Middletown, Red Bank, Little Silver and Long Branch. Oh, time to go. Doing wrong here. Why can't I apply the power? Oh, I think it's because something's applying the dynamic brakes. Thirty limit. Cam Cam Tilly, am I a real train driver? No, I'm not. <laughs> I work for the company that makes Train Simulator, Dovetail Games. Good night, Chris. Big to be a real train driver, absolutely. Keep up the great work, Victor. up to 60 and shortly after we get there we'll be dropping it back down to the 45 again GW bar heading for a timeout dude heading for a timeout cruising for a bruising <laughs> oh Shazen you saw the DTG headquarters I think one of the other route one of the routes I think it's Hamburg Hanover there's also um, like a, a hot air balloon in the sky that's got the DTG logo on it as well and it was the original one before we'd actually finalised the logo I can't remember what actually ended up going up there I think it might whether it just says dovetail or something yeah it does it just says dovetail on the side that was before the company had actually been renamed to dovetail it's sort of like a bit of an easter egg Dropped forty five. No free rules, only free tea. <laughs> no, no free, yeah, no free speech. Of course, there's no free speech. Speech is never free. I don't know your scenario hit a snag. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not good. Silverbird Actual, this is 17. Uh, 17 is a, is a content pack of routes rather than graphical changes or anything. All the big changes are coming into this world. So essentially it's a, uh, a way for the uh, existing users to get some great routes at a really cheap price. Uh, 
2.99 miles for Aberdeen Matawan. Klaus Gartner. Uh, well, they're not freezing on this side, so. And the bug fixes are being delivered actually rather than waiting for the annual releases the bug fixes come in service updates over a period of time uh, in the middle so that you don't you generally don't get much of a code update anymore in one hit because the one hit code update was a there are features and there are bugs why wait till the next year to give people to give them to people certainly the bug fixes um and um i forgot where i was going with that but that yeah see so effectively any anything that's been fixed and so you've already had them They've been done over the course of the year. So a number of people were sort of a bit down on the wasn't really much code change in 2016, but you'd had the rail driver update, the track IR update, the number of bug fixes and so forth. I know because I did them. Um, and they were all delivered over a course of a couple of patches um, in the in the previous year. Cam Cam Jelly, we're in uh, America. This is um, North Jersey. So uh, yeah, we're heading down towards um, Long Branch. Right, drop down to 45. No complaints from Moggy about the wipers. I'm really surprised. Come on, Moggy. It's excuse time. You're hungry for freezer goodies. I had the um, fruit shoot um, one that looks like a um, is it calypso or whatever it is. Um, apple and um, black currant. It was absolutely fantastic. Pulled from your steps and you got Pioneer Edition. Awesome. Enjoy the content. Some great routes in there. Always expect a train. Absolutely. Respect trains. Because you know what? They don't. They'll, they'll, they'll quite happily go over you. <laughs> they don't stop very quickly. We can has power. Turn that bell off now. I 
I watched documentary, the documentary uh, last night. It was one we recorded a while ago. Um, the um, Seconds from Disaster, talking about the um, disaster that happened at Paddington between the HST and the Turbo. It was really interesting, sort of how they um, pieced together what happened and the fact that it was so different. Uh, it wasn't, you know, it was the, the sun shining on the signals was the most likely cause of the problem. Incredible. I can't remember when it was now. It was quite, it was quite a while ago, but essentially that incident is what brought about um, TPWS. Labrick Grove, that was it. Moggy says, shocking thing is that I'm in late by just five minutes. You would have seen it. Yeah, because the sun would have been just off it. It's just one of those lightning strike moments and just a, a number of wrong things happened at the same time. It's amazing. Horrific. I mean, you know, it's... Uh... But hey, the, the rail safety moved on with... Uh... They, they moved on and got TPWS in, so... As long as something good comes out of these things so that they don't happen again, then... Oh, you've got notes on that, have you, in your in your folders, Amaril? Middletown Cam Cam Jelly, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Yeah, it's amazing. the The documentary uh, in Seconds from Disaster they they showed how the because um, one of the things they couldn't work out was where the um, the explosion came from, um, and then what they did is they 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 worked out that a um, when they they effectively had a a tank of fuel and they dropped something on it onto it via a rail and um, they saw when it exploded it vaporized, um, and then when they lit it. The um, the spark from the overhead wires that were uh, loose because of the uh, physical collision, um, the um, just the explosion was horrific. Middletown is next.
speed limit is now 80 I can't remember what date um, it was uh, the accident did I see the Quintons Hill design? No, I didn't see that one. Because my wife had recorded it. Cyclic any plans to make TSW Sport VR headsets? VR is, I mean, I'm a huge, huge fan of VR. Um, so I'll be doing everything I can to get VR supported, but uh, not in the immediate future. Um, but. Uh, I mean, I got this supporting VR at one point, just as a tech demo internally. It's really cool. Right, coming into Middletown. I think it'd been really funny if, um, when they did the TS17 trailer, they'd put something like "apply, uh, remember to stop" for, for stopping at a station. I think that would have been that would have been very funny. And it's the sort of thing Doug would have done as well. What me? Do you watch in seconds from disaster? No, it was. Um, I think he did the Guinness commercials or something like that. Pendennis cast. I don't want. The, don't know what his name is. Right. Red Bank. Do I remember Southall? No, I don't. Yeah, I think that's the guy, Arnold. Yeah. I have a feeling my internet's going to crash. No, it's rock solid at the moment. The output um, flow is pretty much level, and it's sometimes it does this, but it's actually pretty much level at the moment. It's nice. So, if anybody here is streaming and you haven't upgraded to OBS Studio yet, do it. 
I'm recording at 1080p at high bitrate. I'm streaming at um, 720p at a sensible bitrate. And it's using 7% of the CPU to do all of that. It's unbelievable. OBS, um, the original OBS Classic, would have been using about 30% of the CPU, and that's not doing the recording. HST hit a freight train. Oh wow. That that wouldn't have ended well, would it? Jeez. Yeah, once we get there, JL Adventures, I'm just coming into I'm just on final. <laughs> DS4 controller over a Steam Link. Do you mean a PS4 controller over a Steam Link? I've not tried it, to be honest. It's, I mean, I didn't even know you could use a PS4 controller with a Steam Link. Arnold, it didn't? What didn't? Oh, I see what you mean. It didn't. It didn't end well, yeah. Which studio, which version of studio have you been trying Rubku? Because they have, like, for example, the Lanxos filter got a big upgrade at one point recently. Horn. Someone said, what are we driving? This is what we're driving. Right, so we are now on for Little Silver. Yeah, I'm on the latest, I think it's 15.4. But the Lanxos thing was definitely in by before 15.3, so not quite sure why it wasn't looking as good. It did take me a while to get it working the way I wanted it to, so it might be just something you need to spend a bit of time on. But I'm really pleased with it. It's so much nicer than OBS Classic. Taylor Adventures, yes, for Light Sim is next. Do 
GWR, you're making a TSL scenario with the LNER K1 on ECML 1980s. Ooh, that sounds interesting. No, this I think is a Siemens Loco Cyclic Cynic. If you look up ALP 45-DP Yeah, what you can do Ribku is you can set up the set up the um, the stream to run at 1080p and don't do the downscaling in the video and in sort of the the place you'd expect to do it. If you set up all of the um, outputs as an advanced configuration, then you can actually do the downscaling separately for the recording and for the um, for the streaming. So you can have them all um, different. So this is how I'm recording at 1080, but I'm streaming at uh, 720. The bit rates can also be different, so I'm also recording at a much higher bit rate, um, which is needed to support the higher resolution. But it also means that it's um, it's a clearer picture. Hold up a bit short. How do I know when to hit the brakes? Practice. <laughs> I still don't get it right. See, I just I, I hit the brakes way too hard just then. That's why I needed to accelerate again. But when people say, what, what's difficult about driving a train? Um then uh, because you can't steer it but it is pretty much the the deceleration is is pretty much the challenge get a new pc next week rubku gg Do you get thunder in TS? Does that require Lua? Yes, because thunder is something that needs to be activated. Yeah, you can select the weather pattern, but then you have to activate it. It's done via weather chains, which can only be done in um, in Lua. Long Branch, three point four six miles. Pendennis, what's the music in the seventeen trailer? I haven't a clue. Not a clue, I'm afraid. Lost 58 points there. That puts us on about 80 points lost now. Come on, throttle's not coming off. I think there's something wrong. This rail driver, I think, is getting a bit old. It's becoming, do I have to move the control very slowly for it to pick up all the movement up? To be fair, it is about 10 years old, but. Yeah, bye bye Glod, yeah. <laughs> what is the um what is the um the score needed for this scenario? Do you know Arnold? Destroy my my dreams.
How come they can make autonomous cars but not autonomous trains? They do. You'd be surprised how many trains are actually run on by computer and um, the driver is sitting there babysitting it and making sure that everything is good. I think there's two or three lines on the London Underground now which are um, ATO, Automatic Train Operation. The DLR has always been Automatic Train Operation. 80 miles an hour now. Actually, you might just scrape Glod. Wow. Your current PC is six years old. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's that's definitely due for a replacement, isn't it, Ruku? PC is fine, it's Rubku that's wearing out, is it? Ah, uh, you're going to get a new Rubku. <laughs> Mr. Matt, why am I not honking the horn? Because um, I'm lazy. I always get that bit wrong, uh, and when I get it right, everyone hates it because of all the noise. <laughs> I am doing the bell into every platform, though. That's, that's a significant win over my normal performance. Right, speed reduced to 25. Michael B nine seven one nine, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. It's a fourteen shaving a haircut. Right, coming in to Long Branch, which is our termination. Stopping a little bit on the early side, but oh well. Don't need them anymore. Put that back in the middle. Instrument lights off. Cab light on. How are we doing? All is good. Get out of the train. What do we get? 929. What will we get? What will we get, folks? What will we get? <laughs> Glod! Glod! That's two Glods and a silver. 
going to have some more of that tea, I think. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, David said Sliver. Oh, ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. Victor? No, I didn't. Let me have a look. Matt is so lazy that chat honks the horn. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Right then, folks. Scrape that by about nine. <laughs> ah, nice. Excellent recount, says Moggy. Recount! Sure, it wasn't a bronze. It was a gold, it's a gold covered bronze. Okay, folks, that's the end of Train Sim Live. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to shut down on Twitch now and I'm switching back over to YouTube. Um, I'll type the URL in for those that don't know it. Uh, and I'll be playing some Flight Simulator. Um, main reason for switching to YouTube is because uh, Saturday I'll be taking part in the Flight Angels um, charity stream. And um, that's all on YouTube. So I want to make sure that all the tech is all working correctly. You can tell me what the quality of the stream is like and so forth. Okay then, folks. So I will shut down. I'll do the theme tune and shut down. And uh, after I've been to the toilet, I'll fire up again over on YouTube. So... Uh, Thanks again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again in a moment over there. Cheers.